Hello, 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 hello everyone. Good morning, happy Tuesday to you. How are you? Hope you're all right. Hope everything's going well with you guys. Uh, the sun is shining. It's actually, well, kind of shining. It's coming in and out of the clouds. It's not like warm like it was before, but the weather's perking up. Hello, Chloe, good morning to you. Hope you're all right. How's Teddy doing? Is he all right? Hope he's good. Uh, yeah, so happy Tuesday. Hope it finds you well. Hope it finds you well. So, what have you all been up to? I've got my coffee. I'm just going to have a slurp. Let's give you a... Mm. Oh, that's good. That is good. You need a coffee in the morning. Right, I am just... Hi, Hilary. Good morning to you. I am just checking that I'm live in the right place on my Facebook page. I've got my laptop next to me, which is why I keep looking the other direction. I'm sorry about that. And it just kind of gives me an idea if people are watching and if I can see any comments. Hello, Buzz. How are you? Hope you're well. Hope life is being good to you. Hang on. Yes, there I am, live in the right spot. Hi, Claire. Good morning. Hope you're all right. Hope everything is good. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Morning, Lucy. Morning, everybody. Yay. Did you know it is International Day of the Nurse today? International Nurses Day. So to keep me company while I'm crafting, well, I've always got it right next to me, actually. Got my little nurse. <laughs> if you didn't see this before, my sister crocheted her for me recently. How cute is she? I'm glad you're well. How cute is that? That is so cute. Oh, right, let me put her there. She sits next to me on my crafting desk, right in front of me, so I can see her in amongst all the debris that uh, Jacob leaves behind when he's using this room as well. Yeah, she's really awesome and I love her. I've got my hair in my eyes, that's so annoying, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, she's super cute. She's even got my hair, look. Let me see if I can show you. Look at her hair. Look how cute is she. I'm not sure if that mask is covering her nose at the moment. <laughs> so cute. Right, let's pop her over there so she can just watch. Kate, her name's Kate. Helen made me a mini me. <laughs> Ridiculous, aren't I? Anyway, so let's crack on with what we're going to do at Coffee and Cards today. I thought we'd change it up a little bit. Yes, it's me. I don't think you really want more than one of me though. Um, so instead of, actually I'm gonna make a card, but I'm gonna make a little gift package first. So I will show you what we're gonna make. Have you guys seen these? Hang on, let me grab them. You probably have. These are our little pillow, craft pillow boxes. They're in the Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, they're fab, they come in packs of quite a few. Actually, I'm not sure how many you get in the pack, but quite a few. They're in our catalogue, they came ready-made and they're brilliant, but they are retiring. They're on the retiring list, so if you want packs of these, get them before they're gone. Hi, Carol, good morning to you, hope you're well. So this is fun, it's like a little coffee and cast party. Right, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these, so I'm gonna turn you over so you can see my workspace. So bear with me. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning to every everyone who's hopping on this morning. So this is the fun part. So I hope it's not too bad when I turn you around, get a glimpse of my coffee cup. Right, let's pop you in the tripod without turning my camera off. Good, good morning. Right, here we go. Now you're a bit close. I was videoing something else. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Mum. So I'm going to bring you up a little bit because I think you might be a bit close. I don't know. We'll see. There we are. Got a bit of rubbish there. Let's move my grid paper a little bit. Oh, actually, I can't because I've stuck it to the table. Let's move my tripod. There we are. You've got some of those. Carol, I've, um, they are absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Really useful little items. Okay, bear with me a second. I wanted to show you what I'm going to do with them, so I needed something out of my drawer, which I thought I already had. Okay. Hi, Linda. Hope you're well. 
So this might apply to Linda actually, what we're gonna do with a little craft ready-made pillow boxes from Stamping Up. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the rest out of the way. So they come flat in a packet like that and you just literally, they've got score lines, you literally fold against those score lines like that. Fold it over and they're ready-made. So how cute is that on its own? Now, I'm sure lots of you are aware that many people at the moment are at home and can't go to work. Um, that does not include teachers. Not all children are at home and teachers are still at work. Teachers are currently safeguarding um, key workers' children and uh, special educational needs children that need to go to school. Linda, so what we are doing is I have taken some of the, we haven't started, so you've come in just at the right time. Um, we're taking the ready-made craft pretty polka dot pillow boxes from Stampin' Up, already made, and we're making a little gift. Now, all those key workers, all those teachers that are still in school, we're going to make some little thank you gifts for those teachers that you could drop off to brighten up their day. We've been very lucky in the hospital and every now and again, somebody will bring something in that someone's donated to us. So we might get a hand cream or at Easter, we all got an Easter egg. Um, and there's been some various donations and we've been very lucky. We're also very lucky that our trust is feeding us. That's never happened before and it's amazing. Um, teachers go to school, they have no PPE. They do their job every day. So I thought a little cute, fun package. So if you've got any children that are at school, if you've got any children that are at home, are missing their school teachers or their school, you could just send in a little little care pack to those teachers using this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use this Harvest Hello stamp set. It's perfect. It's got apples, it's got pumpkins all over it. And with it, yes, Linda, we'll make one for you. That's why I said I thought it would be useful for you. We'll make one for you. I've got the Apple Builder Punch. So these match, these coordinate these two items. This is the Harvest Hello stamp set. And we've got the Apple Builder Punch, which punches out the apples. And it also punches out this pumpkin here. So it's great for um, harvest time or like little Halloween or if you want to make little gifts at Halloween or decorations. Because it's got a little pu pumpkin face there. Okay, so we're going to use the apple part of it. All right. Okay. Now I thought we'd have our apple. Excuse my arm. I thought we'd have our apple in a nice red juicy apple color. So I've taken out a piece of, this is real red cardstock and I've got my apple stamp and some memento ink. So why the Mac's gone quiet? Are you all there? Oh yeah, there we are. So I'm just going to ink it up, nice and juicy, and I'm going to stamp it on, simple as. Like that. So we've got a nice round apple, and I'm going to punch it out. Hi Suzanne! Make sure it's dry. So when you're using our Stampin' Up! punches, you can store them flat, so it takes up less room, and you can stack them like that with a little clip. When you want to use them, you just open it like that using the clip. And to punch things out that have been stamped, just turn it over. Hi, Lucy. So, you, yeah, you're still there. I'm glad. Turn it over and punch. And you can see what you're punching through there. This is a builder punch. Be careful what you've stamped next to it because you've got the stalk and the leaf there. And it'll punch into it. Right, there we go. So I can move that piece out of the way. And take that off of that. And I don't need that stalk. Right, okay, so I've got this one. Like so. And I'm going to use a piece of this scrappy crumb cake and a piece of green, which I've got ready here. I think this is garden green. I wanted to use a slightly different green to, I'm gonna be using some of this as well. Where is it? Have I got it ready? Yes. It moves around all my stuff I've prepped. So this is Granny Apple Green and I'm gonna be using it on the box 
but for my little leaf to show up, I thought I'd use a different green. So this one is a uh, garden green, and I'm going to stamp the leaf, the little leaf that's in it. So I've got here a little leaf stamp. I'm going to stamp two because I've got uh, an, a little card to make as well, and I shall need another one, so I might as well do that. And I will stamp a couple of the stalks as well. I shall want those. And I put a lid on my ink. Such a useful stamp set. I honestly bought it for the fun of it because I was so attracted to it over autumn time. But um, and I used it loads more than I thought I would. Weird that how that happens, isn't it? Right, let's cut that so I can fit it in a bit better. Just chop that one out of the way. Here we go. Ooh. So just line it up. You always have a gap on the outside. Make sure you keep the piece that you want. And I'll do that again. Just drop the bits off that I don't want. There's my stalk. And punch it out. Ta -da! Like so, let's get rid of all the scrappity bits. Two stalks, two scrappy bits, and then we need to... Hi, Jan. Hope you're well. Just need to punch out the leaves. I just thought it would be different to change things up. I am, I absolutely love making 3D projects. It's one of my favourite things. <laughs> Here we are. And they, these little craft pillow boxes just make it so simple because half the work's done. Right, I can move that one. I can move my apple punch for a bit. So I've got an apple stalk and leaf. And I've got one for later. So I'll pop the ones for later back up there. And we've got our apple here and we're going to stick it together. And I'm going to have a drink of coffee. Has anyone else got their cuppa? If you've got a cup of tea or something nice. Sorry if you can hear me drinking, that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> there we are. Hey Marguerite, how are you? Yes, you could easily make those boxes if you don't have them, Lucy. And if you're not sure how to, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials. I've made lots like this for swaps in the past, easily made using your cardstock. This is just such a simple way to make them. Right, and then you can decorate them any way that you wish. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny dot, a tiniest dot of glue on the back of my apple, like so, you can see that. I'm gonna line up my stalk. Now, it depends which way you like your stalk to go. I remember this from last time, but I think I like mine looking that way. I think it looks like that for an apple and the other way up for a pumpkin, if I remember. So when you do the pumpkin pumpkin stamp. Okay, so that's that one. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more glue on the back for the leaf. And that's gonna just pop in. Look at where you want it to go. Peeping out like that. Hi, um Marguerite. Oh hi Lexi. Jan, you can always go back and watch the replay, but I'll tell you what we're doing. We've got these little pillow boxes. They come ready-made from Stamping Up, and we're making gifts for teachers. Oh, I'm not surprised you need to um, recover from um, Waitrose. Anywhere the supermarket is an ordeal at the moment. It's just got such a weird vibe, hasn't it? But well done. You did it. You you survived the shopping. So Jan, we're making, you know, I was talking about uh, teachers at the moment, key workers that are at work, 
the, some of the children may be off school, but there are children who are in school and the teachers are doing an amazing job looking after them So uh, while key workers are at work. So I'm just showing you how to make a really nice little thankful gift you could drop off at the school um, and some cards or if you've got children that want to say thank you or if your children are missing their teachers. So I've got the Harvest Hello stamp set and I've got the matching punch to go with it. So I've cut a piece of cardstock as well. But before I use this, I'm going to emboss my apple. So I've got this really cute. You don't have to do this. I just like this. So I've got this. It's called the Subtles 3D embossing folder. And it gives that real subtle texture effect. Oh, it's all right, Jan, any time. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to pop that apple inside. No, I just thought it'd be nice if you'd be able to see what we're doing properly. So I pop the apple inside and I'm going to run it through the big shop quickly next to me. And let's see what happens. So I don't know if you can see the texture on it. It's so cool. See that? Just gives it a bit of texture. I like that. Yeah, do you know what? Shopping is so stressful. Um, we have an um, uh, online delivery coming this evening, but I've been going out and getting the essentials when we need it. And it's quite stressy, so it's quite nice if you look one of the lucky ones to get a slot. Right, so I've taken a piece of garden green. Uh, no, <laughs> Granny Apple Green cardstock is two inches by seven inches, but literally it doesn't really matter. I just wanted it to go all the way around my pillar box like this, and I wanted it to meet in the middle. This is a belly band, that's what you call a belly band, so it just meets in the middle. So all you need is a piece long enough that will overlap properly. Yeah, I like the texture on that embossing folder a lot. Okay, so that's that. So what I'm going to do now is get my tear and tape and just pop a bit of that on. Now this is going to be at the front, this join. Oh, mum, that's so exciting. My mum's eventually got an online shopping delivery after many weeks and it's coming tonight. It's very exciting. I hope you've got some nice things on there. Yeah, it's a great way of using up your scraps, Carol. So I need that to go there. So I'm just going to pop a bit of tear and tape on the inside. Like that. And then stick it down so your belly band's in place. So you've got this belly band that's decorative because you can open it from the end. Okay. And this one's going to go on here, like so. And I'm going to stick it on. But before I stick it on, I'm going to get some ribbon. And I've got some beautiful granny apple green ribbon. You can use anything you like. You don't have to decorate it in the same way as I have. But I do love this. Look at that. This is retiring too, but it's still available at the moment. And I'm going to tape it on using a bit more of our tear and tape. So to do that, I'm just going to anchor it down here. <laughs> isn't it just isn't it just did you see my mum's poem about getting a slot it's called I've got a slot you must go and have a look at her Facebook page for her I've got a slot poem it's absolutely brilliant made me laugh so much could share it onto um my group page mum to give everyone a giggle that'd be great so I'm going to just going to bring it around the other side and I'm going to put a bit of tape on the other side too, just to anchor it down. Isn't it lovely, Marguerite? I do love it. I kind of forget about it every now and again. I go, oh, let's use some of that so nice fresh green colour. Right. So... We've got it going all the way around. Such a simple little gift. I think I could sit down and make a ton of these. Just 
cut your ribbon off there. So you've got this bit going on. And so a person can still open this end. And then I'm going to stick this on with some dimensional foam pads. I can move the ribbon. Sorry, my arm keeps getting in the way. I've still got Jacob uh, using the computer in front of me for his schoolwork and stuff, but he's not in here right now. So the, I've got one half, he's got the other half. We're getting along grand, except for when he decides it's video game time and it gets a bit heated. <laughs> Like, peace and quiet, please. Oh, exciting, Jan. Do you know what? Isn't it funny? I tell you what is funny. I Well, I thought it was quite funny. Yesterday, I had to go and do some training for work. I had no idea how this was going to work because it's called conflict resolution. Um, it's just mandatory training that everyone in the uh, frontline workers do this face-to-face -face every few years. And I, I had to go and do mine. So I said, how are they going to do this? Where it's not, I'm going to stick this on here, ladies. Um, where it's not face to, you know, where it's, you know, safe with the distancing. And they did it so well. It was very, very well done. We did, they taught us all sorts of things that were really useful yesterday. And it was very safely done. However, <laughs> the funny thing is, I had to go to Amersham Hospital. They have the education centre there and lots of our training courses are over there. So I popped over there to do this and I found my way up to the conferencing room and all of that. And the tutor guy was in there. And I walked in, I said, do you know, I said, this is really exciting <laughs> to go somewhere to a different room to do something that isn't my house and my normal place of work. And I said, I'm really pleased to be here. <laughs> I think it tickled in pink, but actually, isn't it funny? All the things that we might have moaned about before or took for granted are actually quite a novelty now. Got to be thankful, haven't we, really? <laughs> so... I have got it going on and what I'd like to do now is put on a stamp and I'm going to put this one from the stamp set. It says to an A plus teacher. I'm going to stamp it in black because it's kind of like in that kind of, I don't know, handwritten or hand typed font. And I'm going to put it sort of, I've just got a little strip a tiny little strip of Whisper White cardstock. I think it's like a centimetre and a half or something. Yeah, about that. And I'm going to put it near the end, but not too near the end. Because I would like a bit this end. I'm going to tuck it into my project. So to an A plus teacher. I'm going to work out where it's going to go. It's going to go in there. But I think I need to take a tiny bit off the end. Hi, Julia, I hope you're all right. And I'm going to make a little banner out of it. And I'll show you a quick and easy way of making a banner. Find the middle of your end. Do a little snip up. And sometimes this works and sometimes it goes horribly wrong. And then you just corner to middle snip. Ooh. There we go. Hooray, my banner worked. <laughs> okay, so I am going to tuck it in here like that. That's going to go in there. Lovely. I'm going to put a bit of snail on the back of that. So I get emails regularly from my son's school. He's got uh, an a assistant that works with him a lot and he's in contact to check how he's getting on but they also have all these other online services set up where they actually chat to the children during the day when they're working and that's amazing and you know I'm really grateful oh I'm glad you like the banner tip so even if you um your child's homeschooling the teachers are still there and it's nice to say thank you right so I've got that one and then I'm going to put another little stamp on there now. So this one says give thanks, but I only want it to say thanks. Now I'm sure lots of people have got a thanks that just says thanks in their stamp set, in their stamp set collection. But if you don't, or if you just want to use this one stamp set, because that's what you've got and that's simple, or you want it to match, it's an easy way just to use one word is to mask this give off. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you how to do it. Take a piece of washi tape 
stick it right over what you don't want it to stamp like that. Can you see that? I've done that. And then we're going to stamp it into the ink. Make sure it's well inked. Do you see that? Let's put the lid back on. But the key part now is take the masking tape off. Don't forget that bit. And get rid of it where you're not going to get all inky. And then when you stamp, you'll just get the piece you want. Like that. So I've done mine on a scrap of Whisper White, like so. I've got to put my stamps back where I was using them, otherwise I can't find them anymore. I've got another punch. You don't need to punch this out. You can just use a little rectangle. It looks perfectly fine, but I wanted to use this. Or you could use your scissors. So I'm going to pop it in here and show you a trick. If you have this punch, this is called the classic label punch and it does lots of sentiments in this little label. I am going to bring my thanks right near to the end and I'm not worried that there's a gap at the other end because I'm going to punch that in a minute. Right, line it up where you want it to be. Punch it out. Brilliant, I'm glad you like a few tips. Now this is the fun part because I didn't do it very long so I should have really made it a lot longer and it would have made it easier. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go through the top of it and I'm going to push it through this end so I can mirror both ends with the punch. Does that, can you see that? Yeah, and then I'm going to punch it. You're left with a little banner so you could always use that. But this is what I've, I wanted. So both ends are the same. Just a quick tip there. And I'm going to stick that in the middle of my apple. And I'm going to use some Tombow for that because it sticks it down really well. And because this is slightly curved, I think it would be better to have the more, more permanent glue that won't pop off. Yes, thanks. Love this. Now, the fun part is what you're going to put inside of it. Now, this is what I'd like to put inside of the ones that I've got. I'm not sure if we can get hold of it. Um, I did see some of these in the shops the other day, but I'm not sure if it was a one-off. I'm going to put hand sanitizers in mine for the teachers. I think it's really ideal. Little tiny ones, you can get them anywhere. Oh, I'm glad you like that tip, Chip Mum. Um, yeah, and this is what they need. So if we can get these, this is what I would suggest popping in your pillar box. And if you can't, what's the other most essential thing apart from hand sanitizers? Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate something. Okay, so I'm going to pop it in like that and then we can seal it up. So let me grab a piece of, I've got some linen thread, some of the white, not linen, sorry, I've got a knot in it piece of baker's twine. It's nice and soft and floppy, this one. Let me get my knot out. I think I got knotted in the... I've got a basket I keep all my ribbons and twine in. Lip balm. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Well done, Carol. Good idea. Oh, I think I've got it in a knot. Let's cut that. Oh, no. Came out, came out by itself. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on with that. I had it in a knot in my in my little box of ribbons. So I am gonna pull these two together and then I'm gonna tie this in a bow. That's the idea. This is the trickiest part of it. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. So chocolate or lip balm or hand sanitizer if you can get it. And you can definitely make the little pillar boxes if you don't want to get if you don't want to get them ready made, but perfect. Now I'm going to see if I've got enough to make a little tiny itty bitty bow, which is what I wanted. Oh, got my nail caught in it. Do 
Can't get any. Mum, do you need any? Because I'll send you some. I saw some the other day, but I think it was a garage I was in. They had a big box of them on the counter. So I know that they're, they're, they are out there now, but um, probably hard to get. So go for chocolate or a lip balm. There we are. How cute is that? Hi, Joe. Good morning. We're making presents for teachers, for key workers who are stuck at school teaching all our children or not, you know, but they're still work, working there. We're still helping our kids at home. So a little thanks using the Harvest Hellos, which I love this, and the Apple Builder Punch that goes with it. I love this cutout as well. You can make these fanned out. It's very clever. Somebody did, I saw. So there's that one. I'm going to make a little card to go with it. So here we go. Because you want to explain to the teacher, don't you, what you're doing, what it's for. So what I have got here, surface wipes. I have not seen any of those. Good old fashioned soap and water, I would say. <laughs> and some the flora spray. I love these bright colors, Margaret, they're great. This is real red and granny apple green. So I've cut a little tiny square of real red to go on top of it. This one is a little four by four card. So you can cut your whisper wire to eight by eight and score it at four. And then the little panel on the front is just slightly smaller. I think I did it at three and three quarter inches all the way around. Okay, so just to coordinate these two together, I have got a piece of granny apple green card and I'm gonna stamp my apple. Oh, brilliant, there you go, um, Mum. Waitrose have them. Maybe if you can get another order or if I can get some, I could send them. I don't know how that would work. Okay. Apple. See, so you're all helping each other. How sweet is that? Such a lovely group of girls. I don't think we've got any lads in here today. I think we're all lasses. Oh, look. Uh, does that ever happen to you? Just cut it a little bit. And then line it up and punch it out. <laughs> Ta -da. Love apples. Let's move that one out of the way. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did before. And we stamped and um, punched out those from the same punch just now. Let's grab my glue. Pop a little blob. A little blob. Yeah, that way up, isn't it, for an apple? Pop it on. Don't think it matters which way up, but I think that's right. And then I think I'm gonna have my leaf this side. Pop that behind. Crafty heaven, I'm telling you, love a bit of craft. <laughs> and that's on there. And then, I am going to go back to this to an A plus teacher stamp. Ink it up well. And then I'm going to stamp it right in the middle of my apple. There we go. So it says to an A plus teacher. Okay. Oh, and I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to emboss this piece with that embossing folder. I'm going to emboss this background piece. So I'm just going to pop that one through. Same embossing folder. The um, textured 3D embossing folder. go so if you can see that look at the texture on that it's lush you would dare risk what Lucy oh stamping onto an apple 
Yes, you would. You'd be great at it. If that's what you meant, you'd be fine. Right, I'm going to stick that one straight on there. So we've got a hashtag going on with stamping up at the moment. It's brilliant, I think. Hang on. Get the right way around. That's it. Um, we're all, obviously, we're all sending out handmade letters and cards to each other because we've got no other way of communicating apart from social media because we can't see each other. And so they've hashtagged it share sunshine sorry i was reading your comment i stamped the card first so flip it over when i stamped it incorrectly you wouldn't stamp it incorrectly but that's why there's two sides to every card uh, isn't it that's what it's for because we all do that yeah so share sunshine so hashtag share sun sunshine so we're all sharing sunshine i'm trying to send out cards i sent some out a couple of weeks ago and i've got a big stack to send out again so hopefully some of you might get some of those in the post if i can get that done Yes, so I'm going to pop that one on there, like so. Now, am I going to stick it up on dimensionals? I think I am. What have I done with them? There they are. Have I got any ribbon left? I might have. I should have put the ribbon on before I stuck it down, but I wasn't going to use it. So I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Oh, Jan, you are super kind. You know, it makes my week too, ladies. So lovely of you. I'm going to put plenty on because I'm going to stick ribbon on top of it. Yes, so I've been trying to send out bunches of cards where I can, but they are stacking up a bit and I need to send some out because I like to keep in contact with all you ladies too. Yes, yes, it is. Great for end of year teacher's gifts, mum. That's kind of what I think it's intended for as well as the autumn and Thanksgiving and all that stuff and the Halloween. I think that's what it was intended for. Um, let's see. Make sure I have, have it long enough to go around that. Oh, it's stuck to me. So share sunshine and of course Jen and I are still making a handmade card every single day for 26 days for our 2.6 card challenge for the puzzle centre to raise money for this for the puzzle centre. It's an amazing charity. It does early intervention work with preschool aged children with autism and communication difficulties. It's the only one of its kind in the whole country and it's just down the road from us. And I just wish we'd had enough knowledge and access to it when my kids were small. And Jen works there. <clears throat> and lots of the charities we've got at the moment who cannot do face-to-face -face fundraising are struggling massively. So we're doing this little bit of a challenge for some fun. So you can find every day, you can find a new card on my Facebook or Instagram for the 2.6 challenge. And you can find our Just Giving page there too. So today's card will be this one to an A plus teacher. So I am going to put thanks, that little thanks one inside. So let's grab the masking tape again. Use a fresh piece, so otherwise your fingers will end up all black where you pick it up. <laughs> yes. We're doing well for time today. Don't forget to take this bit off. Nearly forgot that. I've done that before too. <laughs> Stamp it inside. Thanks. And you can also stamp your apple. Um, the other thing is you can always stamp your apple on Whisper White cardstock. You can colour it in using your blends. That looks beautiful. You can still punch it out like that. So there's many ways of using it. And you can stamp it onto pattern paper as well. I think I'm just going to bring it. Does it need to be a whole apple? I think I'm going to bring it over that way. Like that. I'm going to put... the stalk on it. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's fun. Yes, Lucy, me too. Me too. And then you wonder why you've got all this stuff going on. <laughs> We've all done it. Do not worry. Yeah, look at that. That's so satisfying, that stamp. There we go. Right, let's move those out of your way. So we've got the card and we've got the gift and somewhere I've got all my stuff ready to use, you see, and then I move it as I'm going along. I've got the little envelope to go with it. So I might just stamp the apple on the envelope. I wonder if I should stamp it in different colours or in black. What shall I do? Green. Okay, let's grab the ink. Granny apple green. Real red. And what was the stalk? It was crumb cake. Where are you? There you are. All right, we're going to try it in colours. Green. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Right, here comes the chamois. <laughs> you could do a couple of apples, definitely. Nice, clean apple. the garden green for the leaf light right okay let's stamp the apple on the envelope granny apple green ink because obviously everything matches with stamping up makes life so easy right right i'm gonna put it right at the bottom here because you need room to write your address Oh, I hope so. I hope I've encouraged you to eat healthily. That's a bit of a bonus from Coffee and Cards. Normally we're on the cake and the, um, you know, biscuits. Hi, Sally. How are you? <laughs> and normally it's cake and biscuits and, you know, tea cakes. Or, you know, when we go to Moor Farm, uh, Bradmore Farm, sometimes it's um, bacon sausage sandwiches. Honestly. So maybe if I can inspire you to eat an apple, it might offset some of all of that. <laughs> that way up. Yeah. One stalk. Let's go for granny apple. Uh, garden green this time. Chocolate, yeah. Oh, now stop it now. See, I didn't put chocolate in the box. At least I put hand sanitizer. So maybe I'm not too bad an influence, am I? Oh, that didn't come out. I think my garden green needs re-inking. But that's not too bad. You can see... Oh, sorry, it went out of focus. You can see what it is, can't you? I think I'll colour it in with garden green. That will do it. Yes, I'll colour it in. I have a garden green pen, so I'll colour that in. I won't retry really and stamp it without the stamparatus. Right, okay, so this is what we've got. We have got our... To an A plus teacher for all these key worker teachers that are slogging away at school, trying to do their best for our kids. Oh, you're sweet, Lucy. And here's our little package with our hand sanitizer or chocolate in it. <laughs> Hope you liked it. It's just a bit different from making a card, even though we've made a one as well. Here's the one I made earlier. Now I've got two. I've got two. So yeah. That's my practice one. I hope you've enjoyed it this morning. We've still got a bit of time, but I won't keep you. Hope you like it and you're inspired to have some fun. You can make these. Um, there's lots of YouTube videos or you can grab the pack. I know what I'd do. Especially, um, I'm short for time, which I always am. You can grab a pack of these. They're brilliant in my online shop. Now, so I'll be back on Thursday and I've got a fun project for you for Thursday. So I hope you tune in. Uh, it's an interactive, not interactive, 
it's a moving card anyway. So I'm glad you like that, guys. I'm glad you like it. So have a lovely day. Have a lovely, it's got to be nearly afternoon. So I'm off going for a walk when I've tidied up. Glad you liked it, Claire. I think it'd be lovely for anyone. You don't even have to put teacher on it. You could just put thanks. Um, I'm going to go for a walk with the dog. I'm doing 10,000 steps a day. So wish me luck to get my 10,000 steps in. And uh, I will see you later. Yes, I hope you join in on, uh, on Thursday evening. Take care. Have a good day, ladies. Bye.